This video is sponsored by NeuronFX.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and in this After Effects tutorial, we will learn how to create this cool social media animation inside of After Effects without using any plugin. It's super easy to create and looks super duper cool. So without any further ado, let's actually jump inside After Effects and let's see how to create it. But before we start this tutorial, I just want to let you know that we are also doing a giveaway so make sure you watch the video till the end because i will be talking about the giveaway by the end of this video now let's jump into the tutorial and get started Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition just like we always do 1920 by 1080 30 FPS and let's make this 10 seconds long. Let's call this render as our main render comp. Hit OK. Let's create one more new comp which is going to be our logo placeholder. I'm going to call this logo and hit OK. Then here I have a very simple YouTube logo which I'm going to drag and drop it. Go into effects and preset. Let's add a fill on this just to add some color to this logo. Gonna keep it white as of now. All right. Now let's create one more new composition called this line. So this is going to be the comp for our line animation, which is the main gist of this tutorial. All right. So um, let's start off by selecting the pen tool. We don't need any fill so i can click on fill and make sure it's set to none hit ok and let's keep the stroke to around 10 pixels that is fine we can change it later on and i'll go right over here and turn on title action saves just to get a better idea about the length of the stroke that we are creating and this is going to be quite an abstract um, stroke so let's start off by creating and dragging like so i'm gonna go right here and maybe create a wave like that something like this and maybe i'll end this right over here now you can anytime go right here and adjust this according to your personal preference you can of course um, take your time to adjust it and make it as smooth as possible so that is looking fine to me maybe right here i can select this and select the point and as you can see it's not as smooth so we can anytime just adjust this a little bit just try to make it as smooth as possible so this is our first stroke let's uh, again select the pen tool and create our second stroke so this one is going to be a bit different so i can click and drag this let's move it to the top so i can create first hill right over here and maybe bring this down maybe go right here and let's end this right here and i can click and adjust this like so and some adjustments right here all right so pretty happy with this maybe i'll make the, some adjustments right here on our first stroke this looks a bit too sharp so I'm going to adjust this like this and yep, that is looking much more smoother. And for this one, I will adjust this a little bit. So I'm going to keep it like this. So pretty happy with this. And again, if you're not happy with the stroke, you can anytime go ahead and change it even after the complete animation is done. So maybe I'll just make this one like so. All right. And now finally, I will create my third stroke. So I'm going to start from maybe right over here. Click and drag this one. Let's go down right here. Let's go up and I'm going to try to keep this one a bit more simple, just like a wave maybe. Yeah. So as simple as possible. All right. Now let's hide the second and the third layer. Let's focus just on the first layer for this one. I'm going to increase the stroke size. So let's go with something like um 70, you know, and I don't want the stroke to look that sharp. So I can just select this layer, go into the um, contents, shape one and stroke. And there you will find an option called line cap. I'm going to set this from butt cap to rounded cap. All right. And then I will go ahead and click on the small icon that you see right here. Click on this and 
let's add a trim path and then we can easily animate this so let's go at the very start and um, let's go into the trim paths option let's set this to zero create a keyframe on the end property and the offset i'll go to around one second and 10 frames and set this to 100 and let's set this to 90 or probably i will adjust the offset to two seconds all right let's go to 10 frames create a keyframe on the start go to one second and um, 20 frames and let's set this to 100 and now i can select those two keyframes and move them to two seconds so now we have something like this looks pretty nice now i can select all the keyframes you can hit f9 or right click go into keyframe assistant and easy ease them go into the graph editor select this point and also make sure you're working in the edit speed graph so you can right click and select edit speed graph select this point and hold shift and drag this handle just like so so now when i preview this they look very very nice and smooth now one thing we have to do is right now the trim parts is under the shape group so we need to bring that out from that group so i can just simply select the trim path and drag this out so now it's in a different group let's place this below make sure the order is correct so first we have the shape and then we have the trim paths all right so now i can simply copy this trim path hit ctrl c select the second layer hit ctrl v to paste it select the third layer hit ctrl v to paste it and now we have added the same animation on the other stroke as well now i'm going to increase the stroke size of the second one to let's go something like 50 probably that looks good and for the third one i will go with something like 25 and then i can select both these two layers go right here and search for a line and then change the butt cap to rounded cap just like we did before so now they are much more smoother as you can see looks pretty nice i can go five frames forward and drag this layer go 10 frames and drag this layer so we have a bit more delay in every stroke so now if i preview this you can see we get this really nice animation which looks pretty cool all right so now let's add some color to this so in order to do that i'm going to select this let's go into effects and preset and search for ram i'm going to add gradient ram to this so let's bring this point right here and bring this one right over here now depending on the social media platform that you want to showcase you can select the colors accordingly so i'm going to make this animation from the for the youtube subscribe animation so i'm going to keep it red if you're doing for facebook or twitter make sure you keep it blue or if any other platform make sure to use those colors so this is looking pretty good i can just simply copy this gradient ram hit ctrl c paste it on this one to hit ctrl v to paste it and let's adjust this a little bit let's hit ctrl v to paste it on the third one as well so now we have this really cool looking strokes we can as i said before we can still adjust the way the lines look so i can select this select the um, shape and i can still adjust it accordingly so i can select this point maybe make a bit more changes according to the look and um, yeah that is pretty much it so our lines is ready now let's go back into our main renicom let's drag and drop in the lines composition let's hit ctrl y to create a new solid call this bg for background make this completely black put this below and here we have the lines so i'm going to use those lines a bit later now let's create our text and the logo animation but actually let's focus on the line first so i'm going to select the lines go into effects and preset and search for glow let's double click to add them i can increase the glow radius like so and uh, play around with the threshold like so now one thing that you need to keep in mind is whenever you're working with glows make sure you always switch to 32 bits per channel so right over here let's hold alt and click two times so it's gonna switch to 32 bits this is gonna give us which a bit more organic glows and which looks very very nice and bring that and adjust this a little bit and now if i preview this you can see we get this really nice look pretty cool now let's hide this for the moment and let's add the text on type in subscribe 
um, for the font I will be using Nexa Nexa bold and keep it all caps let's make this white and set the kerning to zero maybe a bit a little bit of kerning will be fine and then hit control D to duplicate it and then you can add on your YouTube um, URL so I'm going to type in youtube.com slash dope motions all right let's bring down the size to something like so that's way too small Do something like this and let's increase the size as well all right looking good so now we need to animate this also let's quickly add in our logo as well which is quite big so i'm gonna hit s and bring that down adjust this align this into the center if you don't find this align tab you can find it under windows align and also i'm going to turn on the title action safe again let's uh, select everything oh make sure you select these three layers and bring that down so that they are properly into the center all right so now let's go ahead and animate these First of all, I'm going to focus on the text. So I'm going to hide the logo. Let's animate the text. So I'm going to select the text and uh, create a mask around it. So I'm going to create a mask, maybe like so. And then go right over here in the animate section and add a position. I'll go to around one second and create a keyframe on the position. Go back and set this or pull this below like so. So now we have a very simple reveal same way i can just simply copy this mask hit ctrl c ctrl v to paste it on the second text so now i'm going to select the second text and then hit m to bring down the mask select the mask select the points and then drag them like so and now i can do the reverse so i can go into the animate let's add a position create a keyframe go back and pull that up so now basically we have a very nice and simple reveal i can select these two layers hit u select the keyframes and right click keyframe assistant easy ease or hit f9 and then i'll move my time indicator at the center and let's drag the handle to the right and make sure the influence is around um let's keep it at around 90 and this one to 90 percent as well so now we have a very nice punchy animation now, before you proceed further with this tutorial, I just want to take a minute and talk about today's sponsor, Neuron FX. They have made this amazing animal animation explainer toolkit that allows you to create animal characters easily right inside of After Effects using intuitive controls. And with this easy controls, you can modify every little detail. Even users with minimal experience can now start creating cute animal scenes using this toolkit. And it also comes with over 30 pre-made characters and 250 loopable animations. So you can simply pick any of the pre-made characters and apply character animation with a single click to create your own story. So what are you waiting for? To know more about the toolkit, check out the link in the description below. And then what I'm going to do is add a scale animation to the logo. So I'll select this, hit S, create a keyframe, go back and set this to zero. Now what I want to do is select these three layers. We can change the color of this so that we know it's a different uh, layer. Now I'm going to select these three layers. Hit P to bring down the position. Create a keyframe on all these three positions. Drag the keyframe to two seconds. And then drag these three layers like so. So now we have a very nice and simple animation. Pretty cool. Now I can actually hit U so we can see all the keyframes. Select these three keyframes first and select the scale keyframe as well let's hit f9 or keyframe assistant easy ease go into the graph and let's um, create the influence of around 90 percent as well for this animations and i would suggest using keyframe wingman for these kind of uh, animations it's a free script and you can check it out i will mention the link in the description so yeah but for now let's do this manually all right that is looking pretty good so now we have something like pretty nice and now we can turn on the lines so let's adjust the lines accordingly so i can 
move them just like somewhere around there and let's see a bit more so i think the animation is looking pretty cool now i'll go into my project panel and duplicate the lines make sure you duplicate it right over here in the project panel so hit ctrl d so now we get lines to jump into that and let's select all these three layers set the stroke to around 10 pixels let's go back and drag and drag this right over here a bit at the back and then i'll go into effects and preset search for fill and add this fill to this and i'm going to make them white so now we have a bit more variation into the stroke and which looks pretty awesome to me and one more thing that you can do right here is hit s unlink this and set this to minus 100 so now we get a bit more variation with the strokes unlink this and set this one to minus 100 so now we will get a bit more variation with the strokes which looks pretty damn cool also with the logo i'm going to duplicate this at control d let's move this right here so the second one and we can add a fill to this and boom i'm going to add a nice red color and there we have a social media animation ready to roll and as you can see it looks super super cool very easy to create and the final output looks pretty amazing so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did make sure you leave a like and comment down below if you found this tutorial helpful and if you're watching my video for the very first time please do consider subscribing to the channel and press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever i post a new video also you have a chance to get this toolkit absolutely free by participating in this giveaway in order to participate all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed to dope motions and neuron effects youtube channel and comment down below how this pack will be helpful to you i will be reading each and every comment and select three winners who will get this toolkit absolutely free Winners will be announced on 15th September on my Instagram account dope.motions and if you want to know more about this toolkit, check out the link in the description below. With that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.